Good morning, Montreal. Looking good this Wednesday morning. Thanks for watching. No matter where you're tuning in from, we so appreciate it. Okay, this is news we can all use. With prices going up at the pumps, our grocery bills on the rise, it might be time to take a little look-see and review our finances, consider making a budget. I know I can't stand it either, but to tell us how we can save and watch our dollars is personal finance educator. She's the finance queen, Kelly Keen. Good morning. Good you know, morning, Cal, Dina. I love you. You're beautiful. You're so smart. I'm so bad at I'm so bad at budgeting. My husband always tells me, "You're going to help us. You're going to break it down. First things first. We're going to get into the problems. How do we know if we're actually overspending? You say sometimes we don't realize it. How does it get away from us?" Yes, beautiful Dina, you are so smart and we are going to talk about a word I don't like, uh -oh. budgeting. But let's first talk about if you don't realize that you're overspending. Now, this is when you've got to rail it in. If you're actually going into overdraft, Dina, I'm hearing from some of my readers that are saying, you know, on a long weekend, ding, 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 all these purchases are going through. They're being hit $5 every time. So you really don't want to go into overdraft. If you're maxing out your credit card, you're going to have a dreaded over limit fee. Uh, and you know what? If you're missing payments and, and, and really, if you're just feeling guilty about your spending, you're not sleeping at night, you're making emotional purchases, that's when it's time to really, you know, just kind of take a deep breath and, and start to look at your finance. Cal, you're right. They call it retail therapy. But when you feel guilty after <laughs> buying something like that sort of sick feeling, what did I just do? It's telling yeah. you that's the truth. So what are different ways we can start saving then? Okay, really easy way, you're not even going to see it, is what's called a pay yourself first program. Now, okay. there's a lot of employers that have these, so contact your HR department. Dina, they're gonna take it right off of your paycheck. It's going to go into a savings program. You don't even have to worry about it. Now, if you're self-employed or you just don't have that program at work, call up your bank. It doesn't matter if you're setting up a TFSA, an RSP, just get started with something. Even if it's $25 a month, you're going to look at that when you bank online. You're going to start to feel your financial self-esteem increase as you see these dollars um, uh, you know, building. And then later on, you can figure out where exactly it should go and all of that. The message is put it in your digital calendar right now and get something started. And it's never too late to learn to start or to try. So you say if you're creating a budget for the very first time, what do we need to keep in mind? Now, Dina, I don't espouse anything that I don't like to do. And I think, you know, budgets are like diets. They're really restrictive. Mm. Now, for those of you watching who love a good spreadsheet, keep doing what you're doing. But for the rest of us that have a hard time with that, here's what I do with my husband. Every six months, we sit down and we do what I call my 30-day anti-budget. We comb through all of our expenses. Dina, if you use one debit card and one credit card, your bank is going to do a lot of that tracking for you. So what you want to do is just count your financial calories. Where is your money going? What are you spending it on? Just having that awareness can actually help you kind of be more mindful about your money. So that's number one. Number two, now you want to see the categories that are emerging. Is your money going like Frankie to grocery shopping or mm -hmm. is it dining out or is it entertaining? Wherever it is for you, now you have the awareness of where it's going. Number three is times that by 12. So you're like, whoa, maybe you didn't really realize that that subscription was costing that much a month or bank fees or whatever it is. And then the very last step is where can you trim the fat? So it's not about sacrifice. It's about choice and awareness. Just like the calories you put in your body, you can have the chocolate cake and the glass of wine, you just can't have it every single night. Yes, financial calories versus, yeah, <laughs> treats versus the substance staples. Okay, before we go, we're out of time. Where do we go? Yeah. You've got a site to help us, like, with all budgeting needs. Oh, such a great site. It's the Financial Consumer Agency of Canada. I know it's a mouthful. Just Google FCAC and tools. You're going to find so many budgeting resources, uh, uh, you know, calculators, so many great things there. Kelly, I always love chatting with you. I always learn something new and you inspire us. KellyKeen.com. And like any good habit, I love the 30-day thing because once you stick to it, it becomes part of your routine, right? You can't just start and then leave it. you got to stick to it for 30 days and then you'll be more mindful. Love to you. Exactly. Thanks, Kel. As always. Thanks, Dina. Ciao, Bella.